Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this is a shocker. This is coming from Comic Book Resources. Shocker? Are you being you being serious or I, sarcastic? I'm I'm being kind of serious. Really? I I, th I thought you're being sarcastic because I don't find this shocking at all. Uh, comic Book Resources. Oh, the Comic Book Resources is covering it. Is covering it. Yes. Oh, I thought you meant that they did this. I'm like, this isn't shocking in any way. No, no. Uh, basically, China is kind of threatening Hollywood and saying you better get with the program, Hollywood, if you want us to run your movies. And Hollywood's kind of like, well. Well, Top Gun did okay without you. Yeah. So uh, maybe we don't need you anymore, China. Maybe we don't need you anymore. So we're going to talk about this because, uh, you know, this is um, a pretty interesting situation. I know a couple of years ago, outlets like Comic Book Resources, maybe not them in particular, but a lot of the outlets were uh, basically very uh, pro-China. They were mm -hmm. like, hey, you know, you got to... You got to do what the culture wants, and 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 then we started to realize that hey, China uh, doesn't like gay people very much. China doesn't like black people very much. China's not very progressive. They're not very progressive, and now all of a sudden, because they they ask for edits to movies uh, based on LGBTQ content or you know whatever, now all of a sudden, well, that's okay. We'll just throw China under the bus. Yeah, yeah, well, they should have done that before when Disney shrunk, like, John Boyega on the poster and did stuff like that. They, you know, they should have called that out then. So my my feeling on this is that Hollywood should make movies primarily for an American audience. They novel, should have this whole time. Novel idea. And then if China wants the movie as is later, well, then they're allowed to right. have it. But uh, Disney kind of sent us down this path of... Uh, making changes and pandering to China because there are a lot of people that watch movies in China. Mm -hmm. But the CCP, and again, I want to be clear, I'm not talking about the Chinese people. I'm talking about the Chinese government. I'm talking about the CCP. The mm -hmm. CCP is uh, very censorous and uh, Hollywood is going to have to make a decision, aren't they? They're going to have to make a tough decision. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 274,000 subs. Yay! Thank you so much for the support. You're probably not watching us in China. They yeah. might be. They might. Well, we've actually had some. We've actually had some people come into our site from uh, was it Baidu, which is the Chinese search engine. So who knows? Uh, if you want to support us further, buy our comics, buy our stuff. Mm -hmm. Go out and support Crimson Ren Volume One on Indiegogo. I'll put a link in the comments. Uh, over 130 pages, full color. Hardcover, story by Geeky and myself, art by Jose Garcia. You know the drill. It's some really, really purdy stuff. And uh, I don't think we're going to run this one by the CCP. I don't, I don't think. <laughs> I doubt that. Actually, I'll tell you the truth. Knowing the story, I don't think they'd find anything objectionable in any way. They'd probably like it. But we didn't design it for the CCP. So let's talk about this. Uh, actually, the original article was out on Bloomberg. And, uh, you know, this, of course, comes after Hollywood's kind of questioning itself because several movies, especially Marvel movies, are getting banned in China. And originally the MCU was kind of uh, pandering to, to China, or at least making sure they stayed within the guidelines under under Bob Iger. And now they're like, no, nah, we're just going to do what we're going to do. Uh, Top Gun Maverick made a, a ton of money yep. without China. So now China says, Hollywood, you better respect the Chinese culture. You're going to get banned. We're going to ban you. I don't know. I don't think Hollywood would listen. Unless they'll use this as a scapegoat to try to take things back to center and then say it's for China. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the CCP propaganda department issues a rare comment telling Hollywood executives to respect Chinese culture or get banned. You better shape up. <laughs> They've better... been banning their movies already. So what changes? They've been banning their movies Nothing already. Nothing changes. In a rare occurrence, the CCP commented on the tenuous relationship between the Middle Kingdom and Hollywood. The party's propaganda department warns... It's actually called the propaganda department? Yeah, I think so. Like, literally? Like, you're not Probably. even going to hide it? I don't think they do, do try like, to hide you, it. Like, you call somebody, hey, yep, propaganda department, what can we tell you to do? Mm -hmm. Oh, they mm -hmm. probably don't call themselves... Pro well, who knows? They, they probably do. They probably just, like... So it's the CCPPPD. So, you know, they're the ones that what, determine your social credit score and everything else? Anyway, they warned studio executives to respect Chinese culture and values or prepare to have their films banned from Chinese theaters. Which they're allowed to do because it's, it's their country. They're allowed to do their country. I know? mean, agree or don't agree, that's their choice. That is that is their choice. You don't have to uh, you know, like it. But it's so weird because, again, 
a couple of years ago, if you're like, well, you know, Hollywood's pandering to China, you're an alt-right Yahtzee who hates Asian people. Yeah. Now all of a sudden it's like, they're not, they're not giving you your gay ship. No, no, no. Cancel Stop. China. Cancel China. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? Like it's, yeah. And it's about the cartoons. Yeah, it's about the cartoons. As reported by Bloomberg, the CCP Central Committee Public uh, Publicity Department. Oh, okay. Also known as the Central Propaganda Department. Okay, that makes much more sense. Yeah, released a statement through its vice minister. Uh, he said, we hope the quality of American films can continue to be improved on the basis of respecting our culture, customs, and audience behavior. So behaviors. wait, you want, so you want Hollywood to change everything about their yes. films to appease them? They don't even change things about their films to appease Americans. What makes you think they're going <laughs> to do it for you? Uh, money. We will import from whichever countries that make better films and films that are more suitable for the taste of Chinese audiences. Now, China doesn't need Hollywood. We've talked about mm -hmm. this. Like, their movies, because they got so many people, their movies are doing very, very well. They do not need Hollywood. And, no. and honestly, Hollywood doesn't really need China. Now, I think the way to do it, again, is you make a movie, and if China wants it, fantastic. That's extra money, but you shouldn't bank on it. And right. Disney's business model... The last several years under Bob Iger uh, was, you know, we got to make movies for China. We're going to change mm -hmm. Star Wars for China. We're going to. Well, they want that that sweet, sweet Chinese money. They want that Chinese money. Um, but even but, the red is green. <laughs> the propaganda department has been the authority responsible for overseeing television and film and censorship since 2018. Since 2021, the Chinese Communist Party's centennial, uh, many of Hollywood's biggest titles have been kept from Chinese theaters. Despite the fact that many of these films have fulfilled the censor's requirements, they were never given a release date. Marvel yeah. Studios projects have been the clearest example with every installment of the Marvel Cinematic Universe since Black Widow being kept from theatrical rele release. Well, part of that is uh, Marvel's Marvel's directors have been saying unkind things mm -hmm. about China, and, and a lot of it is the content, a lot of LGBTQ Again. plus content. Again, so what? Don't make it movies for China. Just make it for other countries in America and everything else. Do you even do uh, movies that Americans will like, and then you're fine. You haven't even got that right. So they, they basically did Shang-Chi to pander yeah. to China, and China didn't want it. They, they didn't, didn't move on that way, They didn't too. move on. They didn't care. Even filmed their concentration camps and everything. I'm sorry, re-education oh, yeah. centers. Yeah, you don't want the, the propaganda department to re-educate you. Um, so, yeah, so Disney's – and they've gotten burnt on multiple occasions. Uh, they hired someone who is of uh, Chinese descent to – to direct Eternals, and then she was talking about how awful China was, you know? And it's like, yeah. So it's kind of blown up in their faces, right? Mm -hmm. So now they got it, now they gotta bring it back to uh their home turf. Meanwhile, John Cena had to apologize in, in Mandarin. Mandarin about in Mandarin. Taiwan. Yeah, you're not um, allowed to you're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say that. Uh <laughs> And he knows he's very, very sorry because he wants his Fast and Furious movie to make a lot of money, a lot of Chinese money. So they left that one over there. Yeah. Because he, he, he groveled. He groveled. Yeah, they did. Yeah. If you grovel, you know, maybe they'll, they'll run your movie. They love him over there. He grovels. Um, I look, I like John Cena. I just thought it was like, man, it was kind of ugly watching teary eyed John Cena. It was basically like if Kevin Smith spoke Mandarin. <laughs> no, Kevin you know, Smith wishes. You know, if he spoke to me, <laughs> that's why he was like all teary eyed. Like, I can't believe I made this such a, such a mistake. I am so sorry. Um, anyway, uh, Chloe Zhao. Yeah. She, she was like, she said China is a place where there are lives everywhere and they did not run the Eternals. Um, but uh, a lot of people think that it's because they don't want the competition. That's true. China basically looked at American blockbusters for years and they, they, you know, reverse engineered them. They're like, mm -hmm. okay. Let's let's do what they're doing, but make it for our audiences. Right, and, and then they make it that it fits those sensibilities and what the, you know, because different countries are going to have different things that, that 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 they like to watch on the screen. Yeah, or if they're not given a choice, they watch whatever's put in front of them. <laughs> if there's only two movies in the theater, they're both you know Chinese movies. You're going to watch one of them, right? Um, so they said until recently, the Chinese box office was on track to become the most lucrative movie market in the world. Uh, films such as Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Venom, uh, No Time to Die struggled to reach the same financial success as their predecessors. It should be noted some of these were released during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, yeah, so look, 
it's it's over hollywood it's over it's you don't need china china doesn't need you mm -hmm. uh maybe it's time to break up i was gonna say it's a breakup it's a breakup it's it's time to break up and go back to making movies for predominantly american audiences and if china wants to import it fantastic and if you want to make more money just make the movies more palatable to people in america there you go because give you, them what they want Yes, and this is this is where we find ourselves because Hollywood was chasing both China and uh, progressive values, and the two are diametrically opposed. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to pick one or the yeah, other. Yeah, you can't have two masters, sorry. You can't have two masters, all right. You can't say master current year. Watch me. Anyway, we got to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.